Allah Jalla Jalaluhu says, And from among your servants and handmaids, the property of your hand, those who wish that you should write for them freedom on the condition that they may earn some wealth, then write it for them. If you know some good in them, and help them out of the wealth of Allah which He has given to you. Surah Al Nur, verse 33. Ibn Juraj said to Atta, Is it mandatory for me to write freedom for the slave when I find riches with a slave? He said, I consider it mandatory. Amr bin Dinar said to Atta, Do you report it from anyone? He said, No. Then he told me that Musa bin Anas informed him that Sirin asked Hazrat Anas about Mukhatabat and he was rich but he refused to write freedom. So he went to Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu. He said, Write his freedom but he refuses. So he beat him with a whip and recited this verse. Write it for them if you know some good in them. Surah Al-Nur verse 33. Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha said, Barira, who was seeking her help in case of purchasing her freedom, came to her. For five oqiyas of silver was fixed for her to pay by five-year installment. Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha said to her, Will your master sell you if I pay it all at one time, so that I may set you free and right of inheritance from you should go to me? So Barira went to her masters and informed them of it. They said, the right of inheritance from you will be with us. Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha said, I went to Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and mentioned it to him. So Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Purchase her and emancipate her, for the right of inheritance goes to the one who emancipates. Then Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood up and said, what is the matter with the people who impose such conditions as are not in the Allah's book? Any condition which is not in the book of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu is void and the condition decree of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu is the truest and the firmest. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 2560